Hi everybody, my name's Claire. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I'm going to do another test piece for a huge commission I've got coming up. Um, the customer would like a gold base. I've already done one test piece, which is here. Gold base and some fluorescent colours in the design, but both the customer and myself just weren't quite sure about the colours. It was quite a bold choice having fluorescent colours on a gold base. Um, I don't we're not particularly keen on it, we're not going to go ahead with that. So I've actually got a whole load of new colours, more pinky purpley colours to put on the gold base. So I'm really much more confident about this. I think this, this colour scheme is going to work much better on the gold base. So I'm going to do test the colours, but I'm going to have fun with it. I'm going to do a Dutch pour um, in some sort of fun design, which I haven't decided on, on yet. Um, so let me show you the colours we're using. So this is what I'm using for this pour. So the base colour, I'm using this Montmartre Gold um, and I've got it mixed up here. Um, I've just mixed it so it is quite bubbly but can you see, I wanted to try and show you the consistency. It goes straight under the surface, there's really not, or well, maybe a tiny mound, hardly anything, but can you just see, it's such a beautiful paint this, it's so sparkly and shimmery, I really like this, this paint. So that's the base colour, and then the design colours, De La Rowney Pearl White, I've got three Amsterdam colours, there's Permanent Red Violet, Permanent Blue Violet, and Ultramarine Violet. So what I have done, I've mixed the Ultramarine Violet in there, the darker purple in there and then here I've got the the true permanent red violet but then this is a lighter version I've just added some white so it, I've got two shades of that and then I've got this one here Pebio Studio Acrylics Payne's Grey which is in there all my paints I mix with this which is Flood Floatrol um, and I'm going to put the recipe in the description of this video so if you're interested to see what consistencies what recipes I use have a look in the video description for the information I'm using a 40 centimeter square canvas. So I'm going to just put some of the color, the paint in the middle, and then I'm going to use the hairdryer just to blow that paint out. I've got for this Dutch pour is instead of doing a line diagonally I'm thinking of doing a kind of diagonal s-shaped curve and then I'm going to add some, a few extra lines in I think um, so I just need to sort the order of colour um, I quite like starting with the Payne's grey or shall I start with the dark violet something that gives really good contrast I think I'm going to start with the violet. My instinct is saying with the really dark purple. Um, then I'm going to alternate the purples and the pinks. Then maybe the lighter pinky colour, then the blue, purple. And then what about the white? Where shall I put the white? I'm going to do that. So dark purple, lighter pink. Payne's grey, pearl white, lighter purple, and then the um, darker pinky colour. I think that's going to be my order. So I'm starting with the dark purple. So I think if I did, just planning it, just a rough S shape. Yep, I think I'm happy there. And then I want to add a little, a few more lines like I've been doing recently in my Dutch pours. And the reason I like doing this is it just gives such a solid block of colour. 
which I really like. Right, yeah, I'm really quite happy with that. So I'm gonna have a lovely design here and then carry and continue with having a, my negative space. Um, I'm just wondering, shall I do one more line? Let's do one more line up here. And then one more line down here. Great, so that's the pur dark purple done. Right, so I'm gonna go over the top now with the lighter pink, and I'm just going to do little wiggly lines over the top. I'm actually going to add a tiny, tiny bit more of the, the purple, the dark purple. Unfortunately, when I put it on, it sunk straight away. Um, so I'm not sure too much of it's going to show. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm just doing a hint more. Right, I think I'm done. I think that's plenty of paint. I'm slightly nervous about the Payne's Grey because I can see here it's it's dripped a little bit and it's making a slightly greener colour. So that this is this is all a learning curve. It might be one not to include for the real piece. Right, I'll just give it a quick torch. So, how am I going to blow this out? I'm really not sure. So what I could do is just start from the center and then blow out and then the edges. I think that's what I might do, but I'm gonna turn it round. Oops, I'm gonna turn it like that. I am absolutely in love with this. These colours are amazing. Oh my goodness. That is, that, that they are stunning colours. And look at the cells popping up. Let me try and show you close up. Wow. Right, let's turn it around and try and do the same the other side. Those colours are crazy. Oh, they're so pretty. Right, this one didn't blow out quite as well. I think I'm gonna do one more blow, try and angle it round a bit. And then I think I'm gonna do the rest by mouth because I'm, this, oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, I'm just going to now 
blow around these edges just to get them as I want them. This might have just become one of my favourite ever Dutch pours. I love these colours. They're just so rich and powerful. They are gorgeous. Um, so my composition, I'm actually really happy with because you can see you've got kind of a twisting line round here and then the same here, a twisting line round there. So I'm really happy with it. So I blew the edges out more here and here I blew them round more than in my previous Dutch pours um, of this of this style. Um, let me show you close up because it's the cells are just insane, absolutely mad. Um, look at all that gold peeking through. So first of all, you've got this amazing just swamp of purpley pinky colours, and then you've just got these all these amazing gold cells just poking through. It's so pretty. Look at the edges. I am so happy with the edges. Um, I've really blown them around quite a lot here to get them really, really choppy. I really like choppy, irregular, uneven edges because it's paint and that's what paint does. Paint isn't, it's difficult to get paint in straight lines. Um, so I think it's, I think it's best just to go with it, just to embrace the, the choppiness, the irregularity of, of paint. Look at the cells. Um, I don't, I hope that the cells, the gold cells don't get any bigger. So I guess that's one concern is that they will just keep growing. I like it like it is. I don't want them getting bigger. Just look at those colours. Wow, I am so, so happy with this. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll be back when it's dry. So here is the dry painting. Um, I'm so happy with it. The colours are absolutely amazing. Um, so I've shown this piece to the customer and we're going to go ahead with these colours. Um, my only comment or criticism of this particular piece um, is all the massive, massive gold cells. So the paints have definitely sunk quite a lot into the gold and in some ways that's amazing uh, because it creates these gold cells but I just feel like there's a little bit too much too many gold cells um, I would like to really have seen a bit more of this color so when I do this again uh, I'll do the real one I'm going to make sure I do a drip test I'm going to make sure that I get the consistency of these paints right um, spot on so I'm hoping there'll be less sinking there'll still be the, some cells I'm hoping just slightly less than this, but the cells are absolutely gorgeous. It's so interesting how irregular these edges are. Um, it's such an interesting painting. Um, there's a lovely big block of colour there, which is just gorgeous. Um, and then it just looks almost a bit cobwebby to the edge. It's just where it's just so irregular. Um, so definitely, yeah, really happy with it. Love this colour scheme. Um, so my next painting is going to be the big one. So it's a three foot by five foot Dutch pour in these colours. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Um, do leave me comments. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, and take care, everyone. Bye.